guess you could say I'm the team captain. I'm a bike messenger in London and I've uh, raced crits since 2015. I'm James, 20 years old. I've got a background racing on the track and on the road. I'm George, I'm 19 and I've been racing the track and the road for the last 10 years. We come here for the Red Hook Crit, uh, which was on Saturday, a couple of days ago. I'm really happy how it went for us as a team, even though we didn't really have a lot of luck, but we were having a good time, which at the end of the day is what it's all about. In my heat, somebody rode into my rear wheel on the first corner and must have snapped a spoke, but I didn't notice. I just, he was making like a little bit of a ticking noise, but I thought, if I stop now, that's the end of my race, so I might as well keep going. I was doing pretty well in my first heat. Uh, me and George were in, in the heat together. And we had two of the top three strongest riders in the race, as well as some of the top ten. I managed to stay in the top ten pretty much the whole race. In my race, I didn't get a great start. And in these races, if you're not front, it's a real struggle to stay with the front group. And it's safe to say oh, I'm in the twilight of my career. Half a lap to go, I attacked from about sixth, seventh wheel, led out into the final bend. Then with about a couple of metres to the bend, two guys dived on me up the inside and threw me out towards the barriers and I turned to avoid the barrier and ended up on the floor. On the last lap, I avoided a crash by bunny hopping over someone's bike and then it was making an even worse noise and then round the last corner it just collapsed and locked up. So. Um, I landed on James, which is quite a soft landing, you know, so I'm quite glad of that. Thanks very much for that, James. It's nice with the two two guys in the team supporting them and, and helping um, sort of give them guidance. It's completely new doing the fixie crits, and it's much more challenging than I first thought. Future plans for the team is, is for us to do, uh, we're going to get back and we're going to work out a few more races to do in Europe on and, and yeah, just keep, keep it growing and keep helping to get people into cycling. Never done anything like this, it was just like technically it's so different. And yeah, just building on the community, we've got some events coming up, we've got an event on the 9th of May, another one on the 19th of May, um, so give us a follow on, on our Instagram account. Oh, 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 oh,